everyone, I am Mecca Random 42 your favorite YouTube harpy, and we're talking about the Orville. I'm so happy and so excited. I love talking about the Orville. So um, if you guys did miss my my full like hour and a half some recap live stream, um, it, it's okay. I'm going to condense it a little bit here for you. There will be a little bit of a non-spoiler thing in the beginning, and then I'll get into some full spoilers. So... Long story short, I love this episode. Oh my god, it was so good. This is so Star Trek and, and so... It, it was like a really good interpersonal family sort of drama. Um, we, we... Without really... Without really spoiling it. Spoiling it, yeah. Spoiling it. Um, I, I don't want to give you guys anything away in the non-spoiler part. Just, it's so good. We, we, we deal with Alara, as you can see on the thumbnail, and... and yeah, it's, it's a 9 out of 10. So many feels. So many twists, plot twists, great guest stars, great spaceship shots, great shots of, of planets and, and space shots and, and shots of like, you know, the, the dock or, or the, uh, the, um, I can't think when I'm, when I'm like so happy about these. Yeah, it, it, just, just the shuttle bay. Thank you. And it, the great shots of the shuttle bay and the, um, the planet behind it. Oh God, you had so many awesome, beautiful shots. So many character moments. So many, there's like great little callbacks in this. There was so many touching moments in this that really put something like Star Trek Discovery to shame. You you really don't get this, these sort of character moments in something like Discovery where, where you have everybody on this ship is a family. You know stuff about them. We spend time with them. We spend episodes with these people instead of just one character and, and and you know this episode you know as you can tell with the thumbnail clearly an alara heavy episode it's it's her episode and oh my god she's so she's so wonderful in this you know there, there, there's 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 kind of issues that they kind of get into a little bit with i almost i almost said so this is kind of like a good social commentary about maybe a diversity hire or treating somebody with different needs as special or differently abled or you know, false tokenism sort of stuff I saw in there. There, there. There's so many really, really sweet moments in here as well with like, you know, the, the, the Alara and her family, Alara and, and the ship, you know, there, so there's her family and then there's her other family. Oh man, I, I probably have to give this about a nine out of 10 now that I think about it. There's, there's time, it gives you time to kind of slow down and grow with these characters and feel what they're feeling. And that's not something we get in Discovery. You know, we don't get character moments. We don't get moments to, to see how these people feel about each other. And, and, and when we take one character away from the, from the equation, you, you, you don't, in something like Discovery, you don't get the sense that no, that they've ever knew these people. <laughs> but, but with this, you know, if you take one person out of the, out of the, the cast, you, you feel it. It feels like something's missing. And they, they kind of go to stress that in this episode and they, oh man, it's just such a well done, beautiful episode, well written, well acted. Great guest stars. Um, we, we have Robert Picardo is back as a lawyer's father. We have um, another Star Trek alum, John Billingsley, who played Dr. Phlox on Enterprise. Probably my favorite doctor, now that I think about it, in Star Trek. And as much as I love Robert Picardo, oh, I love them both. So, oh my god, such an amazing performance. Like, give these guys Emmys, both of them. I don't, I'll, we'll get into the spoiler section in a second, but man, watch this episode. Please, please, please watch this episode. Turn off the video if you don't want any spoilers. And, okay, full spoilers, you've been warned. So there's this is the this is the episode we say goodbye to Alara in and I they 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 get you with the feels so many times in this episode, um so, so you know how she's in 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 the in season one they've established that Alara has this super strength because her planet has a much higher gravity than Earth's so she can like rip doors off of things and and there was a recurring gag in the first season where anytime they needed a door knocked down captain mercer would say hey alara you want to open this jar of pickles for me and she would just do it because that's the thing because that was that was her her thing so now this 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 series um this this episode opens up with um her and isaac having this kind of regular arm wrestling competition 
and she ends up losing and she breaks her arm and, and we find out that her bones are brittle, her muscles are, are weak because she's not adjusting well to the gravity. And that's such an interesting thing. That's like science based in real science. You know, if you grew up in a different gravity, you probably wouldn't be able to withstand different gravity for very long. I, oh my God, I love that. Real science. So first off, not sonar in space, like on Discovery, real science. <laughs> So, so basically they have to take her back to her home planet to hopefully get her cured of this. So, you know, sometimes they never get cured. People who are suffering from this gravity, uh, gravity sickness thing that this issue, I can't remember the exact name of it, but so, so she's back on her home planet and kind of treated like basically an invalid. Um, she's treated like she's special because she joined the military and she wasn't like a doctor or an intellectual. They really kind of look down on her and her family and stuff. And, and, and she was like really sad by this. And then she, she ends up really wanting to go back to, to the Orville because, you know, she, she's trying her best to make this temporary, the, you know, trying her best to get better and to, to, you know, overcome this whole gravitational thing that she's going through. So, so she's, she notices, you know, while she's bonding with her family, she notices there's like this weird light on on the island, um, in, in their beach house, they're at their beach house or whatever. She notices there's this weird light and, and they don't really think anything of it, but then they get their neighbors to come over and say, hey, is anything weird going on? Well, the neighbors happen to be John Billingsley, who, who is a Dr. Flox in Enterprise, and, um, some other actress I don't recognize her from anything she kind of is familiar but I don't think she was like anybody like a main cast in anything um god it, it is so it's so this is where it gets so awesome and cool so they're basically kind of like they they, they invite a large family invites this other family over to dinner the the weird neighbors and and it turns from a Hey, our kid, you know, you know, rich people, rich people, blah, ha, ha, ho, hum. Our kid is amazing and blah, blah, blah to stick your hand in the pot of boiling food. Um, I'm, this is now a home invasion. What? <laughs> it just kind of comes out of nowhere. Seriously. It just comes out of nowhere that there's this home invasion and it's, it's disturbing. It's dark. You're like, what the crap? I, I, John Billings, lead Dr. Flox makes the doctor from Voyager, you know, Robert Picardo stick his hand in boiling water and you see it. Or it wasn't, it wasn't water. It was like their food basically torturing him. And the family holds him at gunpoint. They almost chop off like the other, the, like Alara's sister's finger with garden shears. Oh my God. It's, it's brutal. It's dark. It takes this whole 180, but we get Alara her chance to kind of shine and, and use her skills as this badass security chief because she's finally, she's finally kind of getting her strength back just a little bit on her home planet. She had been in a wheelchair this whole time and yeah, I, I don't want to spoil every single moment, but oh my God, th this is how you do dark. This is also how you do family bonding, you know? They, they, every, every chance this episode got, it was like they were trying to one-up Discovery. You know, like, hey, you know, hey, Discovery, you guys never show planets or space exploration. We're going to give you the most beautiful planet with the most beautiful scenes and the most beautiful, you know, forests. And, and you know, and they've got like this giant ring in the background that you can see on the beach and giant space horse with a beak just gorgeous gorgeous planet gorgeous shots everywhere in this episode it's, it's like it's like they're doing it's like it's, a, it's like they're, they're kind of sticking out their tongues <laughs> to discovery i really love it and um oh i, I th this episode is, has so many touching moments um so, so like i said alara's family kind of treats her like she's special like there's something wrong with her like she's less than until she saves the day against this home invasion. She saves everybody. She knows exactly what to do to keep them alive. As bad as it is, I mean, she knows what how, how to keep them alive. Also, Captain Mercer comes in and, and rescues her, wants her, wants her kind of back on the ship because he misses her. And Oh, my God. It's such a touching moment. It's such a, like, a, a beautiful scene between... Robert Picardo and, and, and Alara, like, I love, he, he give the man an Emmy. He's crying. He's like, you know, I, I'm so sorry you had me as a father. I, you know, I never knew you and, and now I want to. And oh my God, so, it's so amazing. There's such a touching, heavy drama moments in this episode. 
and and you know she's like yes this is me you know I, I wish I wish I knew you and oh it's so great so she goes back up to the ship she gets her strength back goes back up to the ship only to say goodbye to everybody no no you you almost had us because at the, at the beginning of this episode I knew that this was probably the episode she was leaving in and I kept kind of thinking, oh, maybe they'll fake us out. Maybe they'll fake us out. Maybe we'll keep her. And because she even goes back up to the ship and I'm like, okay, good. She's staying. No, just to, just to leave again. And they give us this touching shot of her saying goodbye to everyone on the bridge and every, and everybody leaving and the shuttle bay. Even we get all these touching shots. We even get this, this shot where, where she's a uh, scene where she hands Captain Mercer a present and after everybody says goodbye to her and gives her every single cast member, every crew member gives her a hug just to kind of stress, see, this is how you do family. We're a family here. Oh man, I love it so much. So, so after she leaves, Captain Mercer goes back to the bridge and she hands him this jar of pickles. She had left him the jar of pickles. It was wrapped and she's already gone, but oh my God, it was so sweet. They're like, you got me again with the jar of pickles. Yeah, like, like I said, this is a 9 out of 10 episode. It's so good. My my only complaint is sometimes it slowed down a little too much. Sometimes it, it almost felt like a spinoff sort of pilot sort of thing where you, you see this family. That would be a good idea, actually. Please spin off Alara. We don't want to get rid of her. Just keep, keep Alara. We love her. That would be awesome, actually, if they could do that. Because you know how you know when they're going to spin off a TV show where they just kind of spend the entire episode away from your main characters with this other side character. That's kind of what it felt like. So I, I, I don't know. Maybe we'll get a spinoff. We probably won't, though, because she's off doing other things. But like I said, 9 out of 10. Great episode for Alara. They leave it open so she can come back even. So they did they did one better than when Tasha Yar got killed off of Next Generation in season one. What did you guys think of this episode? Did you watch it? Have you seen it yet? Please watch this episode. Try and watch them live. The Orville does need your help. It is in ratings trouble from what I've been hearing. So we want to get this show as many ratings as, it, as we can get it. It's such an amazing show. This is what we want. Please, this is what we want. So <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video or live stream. Bye! Thanks for watching! If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button, and if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe! See you in the next video! Bye!